Hey folks, Paul RC here. Short video for you on how to use a multi-channel radio system on your vehicle. And by multi-channel, I don't mean just your normal two channels for forwards and backwards, left and right. I mean three, four, five, six channels for controlling gadgets and gizmos. You know, controlling winches or light controllers, additional servos for reversing or changing gear, firing rockets, whatever. So this is going to be all about how that all hangs together with these extra channels. If you're watching this, you're probably into remote control stuff already. You've probably got a pistol grip controller like this, and you're familiar with the fact that generally these are two channel. So you've got one channel for your forwards and backwards, and you've got a second channel for your steering. Fair enough, we all kind of understand that. But you might want to do something extra. Uh, maybe you've got a model like I do, um, an HPI Savage Nitro truck, and it's got a reversing module in it, and it has a servo that pushes a rod in the gearbox. So how can I control that? Well, this particular transmitter has a three channel unit and uh, it's got an extra switch here. So that can flick forwards for one way, flick back, and that will control that servo on three channels. But then what if I wanted to maybe put a winch on it or have something at the back that fired off rockets? I don't know. So I, you need lots of channels to do that kind of stuff. Okay, I want lots of channels how am I going to control it? And I couldn't really find that many transmitters out there that were going to give me six channels without going to something like this. Now this is a stick unit. That's fine for me. I'm, I'm an old fashioned type and I used to race with one of these anyway. So that's fine. Forwards and backwards there, left and right, plus extra channels. Um, you can get units like this from you know, Futaba. Uh, this one is an yeah. orange uh, T6 uh, from Hobby King. You can get ones from Spectrum, like a DX6i, they're all great. If you really couldn't get your brain around uh, a stick unit and you want a pistol, um, thank you for some folks who posted in some earlier videos. You can get, uh, it's called a Fly Sky, I think it's a GT3. I believe can be hacked to support up to six channels. Um, they're not all proportional channels, some of them are sort of switched on or off, but um, if you need a pistol, have a look at a Fly Sky, I think it's an FS GT3. Anyway, fly sky. But for me, I've chosen this particular unit, and the reason for that is that uh, these sticks, I've got dead sticks, so I can leave my throttle running and the truck will drive along. And I've got proportional channels. I've one proportional channel for throttle, even. One proportional channel for steering. But then I've got an additional one here and an additional one here. So I've got two extra proportional channels. And I've also, by using these switches, I've got some... Um, on and off two position channels and I can mix in and I'll show you that in a moment mix in some of these proportional channels into other channels to do other stuff how's it going to work so let's show you first of all let's just do our traditional two channel setup so uh, I'm just going to turn this thing on so transmitters on and turn my truck on this could be a buggy it could be a tank doesn't matter it's a thing that goes forwards and backwards and left and right right now so if I do my steering, and then my throttle, okay, so far so good. I've got my normal two channel setup here. Uh, the receiver in this case is an orange RX, I think it's an R615, but you know, whatever one you want to use. Um, if you're wondering, uh, well that's an aircraft one, will that work on the ground? Yes, aircraft radios work fine to ground based models. So let's use these extra channels. Um, one thing I want to have on this particular vehicle is uh, a winch. Now, this is a three racing winch. Uh, it does come with its own little winch controller. You plug it into whatever power source you want on your model and it's got a, a button. So if I press that, there's the winch paying out. Stop it. There's the winch winding up. What you can do though, is plug this into uh, a receiver. So let's plug it in. Now, what I'd like to do in this particular case is use this channel here to control my winch. I'd like to you know, winch one way, winch the other. Now, that's the elevator channel, I believe, on this radio system. So if I look here, on these nicely labelled up, ELV. So if I plug that in, hopefully, if I can get this in shot together. So if I push that one way, then... You see, as soon as I let go of the stick, it stops, which is quite useful. I can have really good control over it. There's the winch paying out. There's the winch winding up again. So 
that's one of our extra channels used up. So let's show you another channel. Um, imagine that you've got a unit that, uh, a model that maybe has a reverse, um, a reversing servo, or maybe for a dig unit on one of these kind of SCX10s that uh, you can fit this upgrade to the gearbox that locks the back wheels. So let's go and plug that in. And in this case, I'm gonna use uh, a switch up here uh, for landing gear. That's a two position switch. So it's not proportional, it's gonna switch one way or switch the other. And I wanna find the gear one on here, plug that into gear. So imagine that's on uh, no dig at the moment, no locked transmission, and I flick the gear switch on the transmitter. There we go, nice and straightforward. That's now switching. That could be doing uh, a Ford's gearbox, reverse, or it could be if you've got a two-speed gearbox, switching. The other thing to show you on these, and this is something I couldn't get my head around to start with, is what's called mixing. Mixing is where you take the signal from one of your channels, maybe it's your uh, maybe it's your throttle, maybe it's your steering, whatever you need to use, and you send that signal to another output. To put it another way, I've output. got put here that's going to my steering servo. I might want the same signal to go somewhere else. Now you could uh, cut this wire and wire in to another connector to connect to another servo, and it will just copy. And that's fine if you want the wheels, for example, going in the same direction. But you might want, say you're doing a, a rock crawler, you might want to have um, the front wheel steering one way and the other wheel steering the other way. So if I just show you on the, the menu of this particular unit, hopefully you can see that and it's not too shiny. Um, the menus are different depending on what you've got. You might have a Spectrum or whatever. But on this orange um, T6, I've got an option here for Mix 1. I can do two mixes, Mix 1 and Mix 2. And with mixing, <coughs> you basically take uh, your source channel in this case I've got ailerons, and you then change it to another channel. So right now I've got flaps. I could send that through to my uh, elevator channel, rudder channel, whatever, and that basically controls which channel on your receiver the mix is going to come out of. And then you can control the rate, and you can control how much of your signal you're going to send. So in this case I've got 100% in both directions. So when I... Um, steer one way it's going to send a hundred percent and I steer the other it's going to send a hundred percent and finally you can control when you want to do that mixing so uh, if I get down to here I can control this SW means switch and um, I can either have that mixing controlled by one of these additional switches up here so if I have a, it flicked off it's not going to do the mix if I flick it on it will do the mix or you can just say I want the um, I want the mix to be on all the time. This is going through all the different switches that I could use to control that. Right now I said switch it on all the time. So imagine that I've got a servo mounted up to control these rear wheels. I don't. So I'm going to steal another buggy and just use its servo just to demonstrate to you. Hopefully this is all going to fit. Uh, right. I've got to get this into the auxiliary channel up there. Oh, there we go. Right, hopefully that's... Right, it's not going to fall off. Okay, so now if you watch the um, watch the steering on the SX10 and the Schumacher Cat, so that's now steering all the time. Two servos. And if I go back to the menu, and I'm going to change this now to being switched by... Uh, let's use the switch that's called mix. So right now, if I do my steering again, this servo, the second servo, is not being operated. If I flick the switch here, now it is mixing, and I switch it off again. Now it's not mixing. That's fantastic. So you can, for example, have four-wheel steering, two-wheel steering normally. I get to a difficult area. Now I can four-wheel steer turn it off again and then you might want to have your servo going in the other direction so in one way it might the wheels go in the same direction so you have like a crab steering or you might want the back wheels to steer the opposite way so you get really tight steering circle to do that and say all, all of these kind of multi-channel uh, radios are going to have this kind of option you can control the rate of mixing so plus will go the same way or you can change that hopefully you can just about see that 
I can go down and I can actually send less of the signal through, so maybe I've got half as much travel. Or if I go all the way down to uh, to minus, so I'm going to now do minus 100% instead. I could do minus 50%, doesn't matter, I'm just going for 100. You can actually go over as well. Let's go to minus 100. So now if I steer, oh, let's uh, turn the mixing on. See that direction it's steering that way, and it's going... So watch the wheels on the SX10, they're going in different directions. The wheels on this one are going in the same direction because I've got mixing negative on one way, positive on the other. Let's uh, let's put the other side on to 100 as well, minus 100. Like I say, other radio systems are available. I'm not saying you should necessarily use this orange one. I don't even know if it's a good choice, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's fairly cheap and it seems to do what I wanted. Extra bit of information for you uh, if you're thinking about using a, a high channel uh, radio system. Something I've just found out after I thought I'd wrapped up recording this video and uh, I've been playing around one of these. This is a three racing LED controller. Uh, you can get these from various different manufacturers and uh, you plug in your steering and uh, throttle uh, radio channels into this unit and then it controls lots of LEDs. It flashes the indicators when you turn and puts on brake lights when you brake, reverse lights and so on. That's great, but this does not work with this. Uh, it works absolutely fine with my uh, three channel um, spectrum radio, but not with this one. It's not because it doesn't work with Orange RX, but does work with Spectrum. It's to do with a thing called uh, frame rate. And I had not come across frame rate until I fiddled around with this yesterday. Uh, just to give you a word of warning and explain to you what it is, um, when your radio sends out the messages to your vehicle to the receiver, it's sending out a block of information and that's got all of the channels in there and what are their current positions. So in this case, it's going to say, you know, steering slightly to the right, throttle, whatever percent, and whatever your third channel is doing. And it sends that out every so many milliseconds. And the, um, the gap in that, how long one block of information takes to send, is called the frame rate. Now, this radio, I don't know for sure, but it's going to be somewhere around 10 milliseconds probably, because it's only got three channels to send. But when you start looking at radio systems that have more channels, maybe that's a six or an eight um, channel kind of radio, or nine or whatever, they've got more chunks of information to send. So often you'll find that the frame, the, the time it takes to send all those channels in an update, is longer. Now this radio system, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing must be more than 20 milliseconds because... The, uh, the three racing LED controller, that supports radio systems with a frame rate between 5 and 20 milliseconds. So works fine on here, not on there. So if you are looking to buy a um, high channel, you know, 5, 6 and so on radio system, and you want to use one of these kind of LED controllers, you might want to find out what the frame rate is of your radio system. Um, I understand that there are uh, some more expensive transmitters that you can actually adjust your frame rate. I can't on this one, so I can't use that particular device. So, a word of warning there if you're using high channel radio systems. About the fly sky. Anyway, so here we go now, going in opposite directions. So that's mixing. Um, lots of these radio transmitters have all these switches, so you can actually have two different mixes going on. You know that this switch might mix your steering, another switch might mix another one of the proportional channels. I hope that's been useful. Um, multiple channels, multiple proportional channels and mixing. Um, go and have a look at what's available. There's an orange unit, Spectrum do stuff like this, Flysky GT3, Futaba and so on. Any questions, put them in the comments. Thank you for watching.